Today, I wanna to show you an easy instant ramen hack that you can make in under five minutes. So stick around. Welcome back to No Recipes. I'm Mark Matsumoto, and I'm here to show you how to elevate your everyday meals. So smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out. I think it goes without saying that ramen carbonara isn't exactly traditional. So if that's what you're looking for, I'll include a link down in the description below for a more traditional pasta alla carbonara. But just because it's not traditional doesn't mean it's not good. And the best part about this hack is that it can be put together in under five minutes from ingredients you probably already have. The first thing we're gonna need is some ramen. You need to use the cheap kind with the curly flash fried noodles for this method to work. I've got some Sapporo Ichiban here, but other brands like Top Ramen, Maruchan, or Indomie will work as well. When you open the packet up like this, you're gonna have a brick of those curly noodles, which you're gonna use. And there's gonna be some other sauce and seasoning packets in here, which we're not gonna use. Instead, we're gonna be seasoning this with some bacon, some egg yolk, and some Parmesan cheese. And we're also gonna be using some scallion greens and black pepper. These bricks of curly ramen noodles have been flash fried, which not only makes them cook faster, it also makes them release an emulsion of starch and oil as they rehydrate, which is gonna form the base for our sauce. I've got a slice of bacon here, and I'm gonna start by chopping it up into bite-sized pieces. Other kinds of cured pork like pancetta, speck, or even ham will work, so use whatever you have on hand. For the scallion, I just want the greens, and I'm gonna chop them up. I'm using a very thin one, but if you have chives around, those will work even better. To make the sauce, I'm gonna start by breaking an egg and separating the yolk from the white. I've tried this with a whole egg before, but the egg white tends to make the sauce a little watery, so you only need the creamy yolk. Then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese. I'm using the cheap stuff today because I wanna keep this simple, but if you wanna go a little fancier, Try grating your own Parmigiano Reggiano or Pecorino Romano. Finally, we want to hit this with a bunch of freshly ground black pepper. This brightens up the rich sauce with the fragrance of evergreen and citrus. Now we just need to mix everything together to form a smooth, creamy sauce. The egg will partially cook by adding the hot noodles, but it won't be fully cooked so be sure you use fresh eggs from a farm that you trust. Once it's nice and smooth like this, our sauce is done. For the noodles, I've got a pot that's just big enough to fit a brick of ramen. If your pot is too big, your water's gonna evaporate before the noodles are done. Then I'm gonna pour one cup of water over the noodles and add the chopped bacon. Let's get this over to the stove, and I'm gonna bring it to a boil over high heat. Once the water starts to boil, flip the brick of ramen over and give it a few seconds for the noodles to absorb some of that water. Then you can start to unravel the block by mixing it from side to side. This type of ramen has been flash fried, so you just need to rehydrate them. Since we barely have enough water in the pot, we need to get the noodles unraveled quickly so we can turn off the heat to prevent excess evaporation. This also allows the noodles to cool off just a bit so that they don't cause the sauce to seize up and get chunky. Once there are no clumps of noodles remaining, turn off the heat and quickly set a timer for two minutes. You'll wanna stir the noodles a few times so that they rehydrate evenly. By the end of the two minutes, we should have perfectly cooked noodles 
with just a bit of starchy liquid at the bottom of the pot. This is actually an emulsion of hydrated starch and oil, which is going to combine with our cheese and egg yolks to form a gloriously rich sauce for the noodles. Okay, it looks like our timer's up, so let's dump our noodles and remaining liquid into the bowl with our sauce. Now I'm gonna stir this together until I have a smooth, creamy sauce and each strand of ramen is evenly coated. You need to work fairly quickly here, otherwise the egg yolk is gonna fully cook before it's able to mix with the liquid from the noodles and that's gonna make your sauce chunky. This is looking perfect, so let's transfer this to a bowl to serve. This is one of those dishes that needs to be eaten as soon as it's made or the noodles are going to absorb the sauce and they'll end up mushy. So don't fuss with the plating too much. To finish it off, I'm going to hit it with a generous dusting of Parmesan cheese and then I'm going to crack on some more freshly ground black pepper. Top it with a smattering of chopped scallions and our ramen carbonara is done. The unctuous sauce coats each strand of noodle with a thick, glossy lacquer of umami, and the noodles are infused with the porky flavor of the bacon. In fact, if you close your eyes, it almost tastes like you're eating a bowl of tonkotsu ramen. Although it's rich and decadent, the fresh scallions and black pepper pull it back from the ledge that borders cloying, which makes this enjoyable to the last bite. So I guess the big question is, is ramen carbonara better than the original? <laughs> of course not. But this will get you 90% of the way there in about a third of the time, and the ingredients cost less than a buck 50. So I hope you'll give this a try. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know you want to see more like it by giving this a big thumbs up and by sharing it with all your friends that could use a quick ramen hack. This video took time and money to produce, which is why I'm so grateful to my patrons who helped to fund this. If you're learning something new from my recipes, I hope you'll consider clicking the link up here to join the No Recipes crew and help support our future videos. Well, I'm gonna go have this ramen carbonara for lunch, but I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.